Hi, this is Beatrice Leonard right here on the move with Travelers with Disabilities having fun. Okay, now here's my question to my listeners. Do you know who Charles is and Alexis and Julie and Annie and Harry and Jack? And now we have three new members that are coming in, Sonia, Mavis, and Ida. And we have a lady right here who's going to tell us exactly who they are and why they're there. And if I can just sit still, I'm going to introduce everyone to Fern Michaels. And I'm so excited. <laughs> How are you today? <laughs> oh, you know what? I'm really great. That is so good. You were telling me there in South Carolina, you guys have a lot of humidity. And I just want to thank you for keeping it there. Oh, yes, we're going to keep it here. It doesn't look like it's moving at all. How was Mary Margaret doing today? You know, Mary Margaret was on the move two days ago. Okay. She tossed a blanket from the upstairs balcony downstairs. I don't know what ticked her off. Something. Mm, mm. She's quiet for the most part, but she wears up from time to time. And, you know, I know I'm pretty leery about talking to people about her because they look at you like oh please i understand but it is what it is and i want it is and Mm -hmm. i live with her but we cohabit nicely and your little rascals i think you have what five or six little guys there right now i just have three okay i want to ask you and not to upset mary margaret but i want to bring this up a couple of things right quick fanny is my favorite i love her And Ash treated her wrong. But the part that was very interesting to me, when Ash died, he came back to assist his family. So unless we didn't get it on a talking book, are we going to see Ash again? Because it looked like he has a couple of things he needs to finish. Um, no. Okay, well, thank you. I just, I wanted to know. And I wanted to know that Annie and Myra's daughters coming Uh back. And also with Ash. Was that mary margaret's influence on you yes yes i'm so glad you picked up on that absolutely i do believe in the spirit world and my daughter passed away three years ago and um she comes back i know when she's around i do i believe implicitly absolutely you should you have mother you birthed her you know her you know her feelings and, and also her comfort to you. And I, I see that. I didn't know about your daughter, and, and I'm sorry to hear that. And and I just thought maybe it was Mary Margaret's influence. The way you write it in the book would, oh, God. I mean, I we had tears in our eyes when Annie met her daughter. I mean, that one right there just threw us totally off. There was no warning of that at all. You didn't warn us about that. No. And then... There we were all with tears in our eyes. You know what? When a spirit comes, there is no warning. It's just there. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I'm falling asleep, I feel her touch my cheek. And one time, there was no one in the house but me. My dogs were at the groomer, and I was just... You know, doing my thing during the day, and I walked in my bedroom for something, and there was an azalea flower on my night table. Oh, that's so nice. how it got there, I have no idea. It wasn't there when I woke up in the morning. No one was in the house, and there was an azalea flower. So sometimes it's better not to know. Oh, the, um... But that just came out of left field, Fern. We were used to Myra's daughter. And then all of a sudden, like, bam, you know, there it was. I mean, it was a good bam, but it's like, wow. You know Michael Jackson's song, I'll Be There? I'll be there. I can't sing, but I know it. <laughs> I, yeah, well, call my name and I'll be there. Right. I think that's what spirits do. When you need them, they come. That's mm-hmm. my experience. Now, if you want to chalk me up to a nut job, no, that's okay no, too. no, I'm from Louisiana. <laughs> for New Orleans, and so what you're saying, I am not questioning it at all because I think all of us have had moments, and I know that I have. You know, you have to get comfortable with it. Otherwise, it can be nerve-wracking or scary if you if you don't know about it and you're not comfortable with it. Right. I want to ask you about, I got so many questions. I just want to touch on this right quick. No place like home. 
I love their dog, Freddie. Freddie was so cool. I love the way he did Cisco and guiding her with her eyes. And a lot of us, when we sat down and had our little pizza and popcorn, and before she had a surgery, to us having her visually impaired at that moment and having Freddie, who was not trained, but showing the sensitivity of dogs toward their owners. And we want to thank you for showing that in that book, No Place Like Home. Oh, thank you. You know, Freddie was my first dog. Oh, really? My first ever dog when uh, we weren't allowed to have dogs when we were kids. When I got married, that was the first thing I did was I got a dog. Her name was Frederica, but I called her Fred or Freddie. She was Freddie in the book. Absolutely. Okay. Right. And we read that as a group, and someone brought it up, and I said, well, I'm going to thank her. Because you didn't have Freddie as a super dog, but you had Freddie as a dog that was very sensitive to her owner. Her owner was sensitive to her. And we want to thank you how tastefully that you demonstrated that in that book. Oh, thank you. That makes me so happy. <laughs> Now, I want to get to my girls, and then I want to get over to the godmothers. Okay. Why are those women, the sisterhood, why are they so important? You know why? Because, okay, <laughs> I don't know how to explain this. Go for it. Now, I did um, my own survey, and everybody, all the women that I talked to had a I don't want to say they're vengeful because they're not. There was somebody in their life that did them wrong, that never, it, it didn't work out right. Mm -hmm. And I said to them, is there anything you would like to do, you know, to get even? Well, you know, yeah, I'd like to push them in the bushes or something like right, that. Right, right, right. Took it to the extreme. But I wanted to do Myra because Myra was older like me. Mature and wise. Right, and Myra lost a daughter, and you know, there is no pain on this earth. That a mother losing a child. A mother losing a child. You can't but, describe it. There's just no words for it. And so, but you have to go on because that's the way life is. Mm -hmm. she, she needed to get even. <laughs> and right. So I have certain vengeance in my heart also but I wanted to write about more mature women and I, I and I think that I did because I got so much fan mail mm -hmm. and you know I just turned in the last book so there were like 17 in total and then such a squawk went up that my publisher called me and wanted to know would I please do just three more? Because <laughs> it'd be mutiny. This is it because under the radar, we haven't gotten that one yet on talking books, but we're trying to get it on audio. But I don't know what we're going to do when you get rid of the sisterhood. Well, then you'll have the godmothers. Right. For those who don't know, they can visit your website at www.fernmichaels.com. Yeah, and we're in the process now of redoing it. I think the old one is still up. Mm -hmm. They haven't finalized it, but check back from time to time. And you have your contest on there so folks can register to uh, get your latest book, and I think that's really cool. Yeah. And then also when they visit your website, that's when they can find out about the godmothers and, and mm -hmm. the lady that's coming, Toots, that's coming to them for assistance. Thank you so much for being with us. And I want to thank all of my listeners. I told everyone that we would have a wonderful time with Fern Michaels. And I want to thank my engineer, Brian Hawkins, that kept us on the air. And I want to remind everyone, you can always visit us here with Travelers with Disabilities Having Fun on the Move at www.twdh.com. F.com. And I want to ask everyone to continue enjoying life and continue having a wonderful travel experience. This is Beatrice signing off for right now. Have a great day.